dear king, soldier has arrived, and just in the nick of time. When I began this war on clean tones, I was told that this was a senseless war. Mostly because I was sharing my plan with the cashier at the gas station, she had absolutely no idea what I was talking about, but also because you just can't defeat clean tone. At least that's what I was told. There's a reason. It sat on the throne for so long. I don't know. Truthfully, this war is tough. You start to question your own motives. As you look at the fallen soldiers around you on the battlefield, fusion and delirium set in. You begin to wonder if maybe a strat into a Princeton really is the best guitar time. Drews have come and gone, and sometimes I think maybe they were right. Maybe this is the senseless war. But when your soldier arrived and began to obliterate the clean standing against it, something shifted. With such violent brutality, you might think that any semblance of clarity had waned and was all but gone. Yet in this moment, I see more clearly than I ever have. The only way forward is absolute, unrelenting, and unrestrained destruction and... That's all probably a bit much. Hey man, this pedal is awesome. Kicks ass. Thanks. <laughs> This is the Russian Plague from Kink Guitar Pedals down in Australia. It's an absolutely crushing rat and muff pedal, and I gotta say, I'm blown away by this. So let's talk about it. Hey, what's up everyone? Chris with B-Minus Demos here. Before we get started, I just want to take a minute. I always drop these videos on Sundays. If you're watching it on the day it comes out, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. I love being a dad. It's my favorite thing in the world, and nothing is like it at all. If you're new here, which I think a lot of you probably are, thank you so much for stopping by to hang out with me today. I genuinely appreciate it. If you're returning, you're so awesome. I love it. It's the best. I love seeing some of the same people pop up over and over again in the comments. So you guys are really awesome. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, do the YouTube thing, subscribe to the channel, like this video, Leave me a comment on this video, share this video, and turn on that notification bell for me. This is the Russian Plague from Kink Guitar Pedals down in Australia. The art on this alone, to me, is worth owning this pedal. It's so gnarly looking, I absolutely love it. It's a pretty straightforward pedal. You've got a rat on one side, a muff on the other, and then you have a toggle switch that allows you to select which one comes first in the circuit. You guys know how much I really dig rats. This is a good rat. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's the most versatile rat I've ever played before. It just sounds good. Now when it comes to muffs, I'm not a huge muff guy, but the Green Russian is absolutely my favorite version of the muff. And this is such a fun one. Uh, honestly, even if the rat was just kind of meh, I like the muff side of it so much that I would I would totally keep this pedal. This is awesome. Stacking these two together, you get some absolutely brutal tones. This toggle switch allows you to select which one is first. So whether you're stacking the rat into the muff or the muff into the rat, uh, I like that you have that flexibility all in one box. Now this is a really classic pairing, especially in Doom music, which when it comes to listening to, I'm not the biggest fan of, but when it comes to like watching people play it and listening to the tones that people get, 
I, I love it. I will sit around for hours and watch Doom videos here on YouTube. I absolutely love it. And when you have something like this and you start kind of like messing around with it, I'm like, okay, I see why people love playing this so much. It is so much fun to hit a chord and then like eight minutes later, it's still going. It's so awesome. On that opening bit, I had this uh, along with my Boss RV5 set to Spring Reverb. I really like the way Spring Reverb interacts with Fuzz, and that's a relatively new discovery for me, but it just makes some really cool sounds, and I love it. In that opening bit, I used my uh, EC256, my ESP EC256, um, tuned to C-sharp standard. And in the other clip, I used my Tele, which is an E-flat standard. I gotta be honest with you, I think if you tried to play this in like E standard, it might like slap you in the face or something for being so weak and lame. Like, don't play in E standard, especially not if you're using this. There really isn't a whole lot for me to say about this pedal. You guys know what rats are, you know what muffs are, you've probably seen them stacked together before. This is the first time I've ever played them together in one box. Actually, it may be the first time I've ever stacked them together at all. Um, and it's so awesome. I love this thing so much. We're going to go through some more sounds. I'm going to pick up the ESP. I'll try to work my way through at least the tone and the gain settings on both of them. And then we'll stack the two pedals and then I'll reverse the order and we'll stack the two pedals and uh, we'll just play around with it. We'll have some fun. Let's go ahead and get into those sounds.
All right, guys, that's it. That is the Russian Plague from King Guitar Pedals. Again, Russian Muff on one side, a rat on the other. Such a classic pairing, and I now understand why. If you saw my Tonex One video from a few weeks ago, I kind of mentioned that that thing was such a chore to play. It was never fun. This is like the exact opposite of that. When I sat down with this and started playing, it was so much fun. The background noises, the dogs, they're going crazy. Anyhow, hey, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to let you enjoy your day. If you're a dad, if you celebrate this day, if it's meaningful to you, then I hope you have an amazing day. That was the dog again. I'm so sorry. I don't know what her deal is. Everyone have such an awesome week. Later. Yeah.